guys welcome back uh, I hope you can hear me um, it's kind of an impromptu video wasn't planning on recording I have such a headache right now and these lights are they're killing me um, but I figured since I'm gonna put makeup on just record it uh, I actually like the way it came out I'm using um, liquid gold by makeup geek and the crease is brown script by Mac the lid I mean the highlight is on the brow bone is um, vanilla by Mac I will probably edit this in a few days so hopefully um, I'll probably do a voiceover and um, yeah I hope you enjoy and if you want to see how I got this look then just keep watching so we're gonna start with the Mac paint pot and treasure hunt and I'm using my Sigma f70 to apply this to the lid excuse the uh, fire truck that's going by <laughs> Next, I'm taking Max Brown Script Eyeshadow and I'm using an E40 and I'm just going to blend this in the crease. Most of the brushes that I'm using in this video are all from Sigma, which happens to be one of my favorite uh, brush brands, if you will. And I'm just going to blend, 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 just blend that into the crease. Next, I'm going to take Max Vanilla Pigment, and I'm using an E20 to apply this to the brow bone. And then I'm going to go back with that E40 that we use in the crease, and I'm just going to blend that out. Sorry if my voice sounds icky, guys. My allergies are kicking my butt. Now I'm going to take Makeup Geek's Liquid Gold Pigment and I've mixed it with Max Mixing Medium and I'm applying it to the eyelid with an E60 brush and I'm just putting it, you know, right where we put that gold base, that gold paint top. Next, just blend. Blend, blend, blend. Good Lord, please blend. Now I'm going to take Max Brown Script and an E45 brush and I'm going to just blend out that Smashbox liner that we have on our lower lash line. And this is under my lashes. This is not in my waterline. Today is not a day to put anything on the waterline. Not with allergies and runny eyes and everything. And this is just some Dior mascara. We're going to put lashes on, but you want to put some mascara on your lashes first to give them some bend as well as easily blending them with your uh, false lashes. Of course, you don't have to put on lashes if you don't want to. And the lashes that I am going to use are from Revlon. I don't remember the number though.
Okay. 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 Now I'm just going to go in with an Inglot Lip Paint number 50, and I'm just using an e.l.f. brush to apply that. That was my assistant calling. <laughs> Now to contour, I'm using my favorite, which is Rockin' Republic's face powder, and this is in velvet, and for that I'm using the F40 angled blush brush, and I'm going to contour my head, my temples, my cheeks, my chin, was it the chin area? Yeah. And then I'm going to go back with the... um what's that brush <laughs> the e45 and I'm going to contour my nose contour my nose contour my nose next I'm going to go in with NARS blush in Lovejoy and I'm using the F30 brush I usually just apply it to the apples of my cheeks, blend it back, and then blend it into the uh, the, bronze, the contour. I'm going to take Max Cheeky Bronze Skin Finish, and I'm using the Makeup Geek Cheek Highlighter Brush. And I'm going to put that on the uh, high points of my cheek, down my nose, the cupid's bow, and my chin. Basically, everywhere that you you want the, the, the light to hit, that you want that glow, that's where you're going to put this. And again, that's the MAC Cheeky Bronze um, Mineralized Skin Finish. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. I had fun doing this. And I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye.